everybody. Welcome to Fun with Friends Live, live from Barrel House by Gypsy Circus. This is our first episode. Um, so Gypsy Circus is uh, one of the people that they're our friends of Fun with Friends. Uh, wear your shirt in here. You get 15% off your entire tab. Uh, so we, we thank you guys for having us. Um, we're, it's going to be a good show today. We're going to talk about the events of the week. Uh, we have a guest. Friend of the month, Crystal Carnes, is going to come on. Crystal. Um, but yeah, man. So the Fumble Friends Dino. Yeah. Uh, apparently, we now have a Dino Hunter. Yeah, where's the Dino Hunter when you need him? I mean, yeah. here's the Dino. Just our and first so. show got bombarded and stormed. Man, that, the that, Dino Hunter's nowhere to be found. Yeah, Dino Hunter's slacking on his job, man. Eric Schwartz, where are you at, buddy? Yeah. We needed we, you. But yeah, this, this all just happened you organically. Had, you, a chance to catch him, and you let it slip through your fingertips. <laughs> it's a cat and mouse, man. Yeah, yeah. Our dino and hunter. Yeah. Anyways. Um, I think he's going to get eaten by the dino. Do you? Yeah, I mean, you, you go hunt dinosaurs, you get eaten by the dinosaurs. Trail, I don't know. I think he's way off. He's been at the, he's been at the, the softball field. How'd he's that work out for him? I think he's at Corno. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Is he looking for him right now at Corno? Probably. Well, I guess he's in the wrong <laughs> spot then, isn't he? So first of all, let's talk. Like, how did y'all's week go? Like, I hear, I know Zane's got a story to tell <laughs> about his week. So let's hear what, what happened with you. So last Wednesday, I uh, took Sammy out to potty. It was about eleven thirty. Like, yeah, it was Sammy, my dog. Um, some of y'all met her. Some of you haven't. She's like thirty pounds, like little lab pit mix. She's sweet as she can be, but it's like eleven thirty, eleven forty-five at night, and I put her on her lead, let her out the front door, and I'm outside like playing on my phone. And I hear her growl. She growls it bugs, birds, squirrels, everything. Other yeah. dogs on TV. She doesn't like other dogs on TV because they're in her house. <laughs> so she growls and I said, oh, hush. And I heard her yelp and looked up and, you know, from, from me to you, Dusty, there was, a, there was something on top of her and it was brown. And I just, I took a step and just, I mean, punched it. What I didn't realize at the time was I punched a deer. A deer. I punched a deer, a deer in the face. Um, so something that you would never think that you, like the, that sentence would ever come out of your mouth, or out like I punched a deer in the face. He, so Zane knocked the deer, and I actually think we got a, a picture of Zane standing over the deer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah. So I, I yeah like like so I, I punched this deer so hard like a my hand's still sore, uh, <laughs> but but uh, it, it, it like it stumbled and went down for a two count, right? Like you one two like. Got up, stumbled, fell again, and ran off. But um, anyways, me and Sammy were at the, the uh, UT Medical Center, their veterinarian mm -hmm. center, till God, I didn't get home before 30 a.m. Uh, but they got her taken care of. So, so thanks to UT Medical, you know, yeah. veterinarian center. Um, and then she had a checkup today. Doc, the vet said she's good. She's running around acting like nothing ever happened. Oh, no, you said she's like been hamming. Oh my God. Like, well, she. Very, well, so she was hamming it for about two days. Now she's like, oh, if I ham it, I have to wear my. My oh, so yeah, she and she won't, yeah, she, she wants none of that, so she, you know, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. a deer out. Yeah, dude, so yeah, I, I definitely put it, you know, that deer thinks I'm Mike Tyson now. So. <laughs> <laughs> who, who gets close enough to a deer to punch it? Oh, you, know, so, you, just, you just react. No, I, it was just, I mean, yeah. it, was, it, was, it was me to Dusty, right? Yeah. Like, like, I just, you know, cool, just a, what the crap's on my dog and swung, <laughs> you know? Uh, but it's. I don't think it ever no noticed. I think there was a baby in in the area, yeah. and I don't think it ever noticed me there. It just went after Sammy because she was closer. Yeah. She also jumped at it. What's bad is like I tried to pull it up on my ring doorbell camera to see if I had video, and it was just like like you see me take the step, and that's it, yeah. and that's like just right outside. I was like, <laughs> like I've probably been on the Ellen show. <laughs> <laughs> So what about you, Mo? What, how, how'd your week go? Anything? Um, so a lot of fun with friends events. Yeah. Um, but the only thing non-fun with friends that I did this week, I did a birthday celebration with Jessica Moore. Jessica Moore. Who's in fun with friends? Week. Jessica um, Moore, yeah. And Yay. we went and rode Happy scooters birthday, and ran around downtown and just had fun and took some pictures and it was a great time. That's beautiful. Speaking of birthdays also, shout out to Corey Brown. Happy birthday, brother. Happy birthday, Corey Brown. Um, Happy birthday. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. The scooters are, are nice, right? I've never actually ridden one. They I, can be expensive if you ride them for a while. I'm worried Does that it charge you by the minute? It's like a dollar per minute, or a dollar to sign up, and then it's like 35 cents a minute. So yeah, you get these scooters and you can ride around downtown Knoxville on them. God, that um, can wreck I always perfect. worry that, you know, because I'm out. I mean, I'm, if I'm at downtown, I'm walking, so I'm, I'm drinking. And well, so I'm going to get on a scooter and 
my gym's downtown, and like, like I work out in the mornings. Like as I'm walking through, you'll just see them laid up everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they have a van that literally comes by no, and just picks them yeah. up. Yeah. Like they have GPS locators on them. We so actually, mm-hmm. there was somebody in the group that worked for that van company. Yeah. yeah. And one company makes you take a picture when you like end your ride, and the yeah. other company doesn't. There's VO, and then there's Link. Yeah. VO makes you take a picture, and Link does not. Cool. So um, my my big thing for the week was I went on WAT. To, exciting. to talk about, um, we are we are working with um, Alzheimer's uh, uh, Association. Um, we're doing this thing called the longest day. Uh, we're doing a scavenger hunt. Um, so get your teams together. The, the post is actually pinned to the top of the group page right now. It's an event. It's a hundred dollars for a team of five at the most. You can it could be just two people or one person if you want it to be. Um, it's on July 11th, starting at 10:30 a.m. You're going to get an app. We're going to meet somewhere, and you're going to go around downtown. Um, I don't want Eric it? Schwartz on my team. No, <laughs> can't, no yeah. Eric can't even find I mean, the yeah, dino, he right? can't even find the dino. I mean, that's, I mean, crap. Let's not taunt him, though. He's, I feel like Eric's on to something, though. I mean, I'm but, just saying, like, like he's trying to hunt a dino. Maybe you should start with the scavenger hunt. Start with the scavenger hunt, yes. And it all goes, 100% of it goes to Alzheimer's. This is not benefiting Fumble Friends in any way. We just, uh, you know, Alzheimer's is one of those things that I feel like it impacts all of us, no matter what your walk of life is either directly or indirectly. So I went on um, WATE with my buddy Doug, who's helping me with the scavenger hunt. We talked about it a little bit. It was a great experience. Uh, they were really nice people. A beautiful studio. It's in that old, uh, oh, yeah. like 140 year old building. Mm-hmm. It's haunted too, by the way. It's haunted? Yeah. Hey, well, I don't know. I'm down. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go. Yeah. On Let's do a ghost hunting. We do need a ghost hunting event. <laughs> yes. All right, guys, you heard that. We got to set up a ghost, ghost hunting, hunting event. Um, who's down? Let's, let's set that up. Yeah. So um, I'm rude, so I didn't introduce everybody. But oh, yeah. In case you don't right. know, this is Zane Matthews. Hey, guys, I'm Zane. This is Maren Olson, or everybody knows her as Mo. Mo, hey. please. And, of course, I'm, I'm Dustin Faust. I think you guys He's can't. the you, man. You guys can't avoid me on the on The, the man, the myth, say. the legend, Dusty um, Faust. So let's talk about the week. So uh, the, the week that was, we're going to wrap up, kind of talk about all the events. First of all, I want to give a shout out again to Barrel House by Gypsy Circus for allowing us to film here. Uh, we're going to do the first month episodes here. Also, uh, Fumble Friends Sports is sponsoring the first couple of episodes. Um, so yeah, but so Monday, July 21st was our Killer Queen Season 2 playoffs finale. The bottom two teams it was Upset City, as Zane likes to say. Upset they City. made it to the championship game, to the playoffs. Was it Michael was, Brady? Michael Brady was in there, okay. yes. It was, in fact, it was uh, Buzz Killington's was the winner, which is um, Kevin, Nate, Lauren, Randy, and Michael. Man, I'm glad Michael finally won something. I play fantasy football with him, and he's gone awful in that too. <laughs> so I'm finally glad he got a, a win somewhere. So, yeah, it was between them and what was the other team's name? The other team Bury was, Me Alive. Yeah, Bury You Alive. Bury You Alive, yeah. yeah. And Bury, Bury Me Alive, Bury You Alive. Oh, that's it a good game. It was Bury. It was Bury. Killer Queen is a really cool game, by the way. It's an arcade game with five people on each side. You're playing each other live. Um, there's different, I mean, it's Killer Queen. It's, it's about, you know, bees. So you're either collecting berries, you're putting them in the hive, you're trying to kill the queen, or you're riding a snail uh, to victory. So there's, there's different ways to win. It's a fun game. I can explain it, and it might sound a little goofy. you just got to come out to Token Game Tavern and play it. Our season three signups are happening uh, right, right now. Uh, the season's going to officially begin on the end of July. We play on Monday nights at Token Game Tavern. Uh, we also, at the same time, at Token that night, had our uh, board game meetup, which Ron Cornell hosts those every Monday. Um, whatever you're into, board games. He also does card games. He's, it's pretty chill, relaxed. Ron's a really good dude. Ron's if you awesome. haven't met Ron, make it to Token. He's worth every bit of it. Ron's yeah. an awesome dude. So, uh, and shout out to Leo and Kyle for uh, helping so much with the Killer Queen League. You guys are champions. Uh, I, I struggle to make it on a lot of Mondays, so you guys really hold down the ship and you do an amazing job. Um, but yeah, registration is open for that right now. Uh, Tuesday, June 22nd, we had our famous Cornhole League kickoff this past week. You were there for that, right, Mo? Yes. Okay. Because uh, you're on Mikey's team, which yes. is my sacker. My sacker home. Last season's champions. Yes. Um, but yeah, that kicked off. Um, 
The highlights I felt like was uh, Bad News Beers and Sack It To Me. They had a really close game. It was 3-2, and there was only a seven-point difference between them. Like the point, It was 90 and 97 points. Wow. So it was a close game. It was a really good one. Um, and some of those games, you know, they're over quick. Other ones, they go on for a while. So Depends are, on how many times you bust. It, it does, yeah. So, so we, we do, do play, play bust rules. Um, we feel like it, it evens out the playing field a little bit better, right? Yeah. Don't you go, you I, play yeah, with, yeah, I play Because, I mean, you could get some, like, tournament teams to come out. Yeah, just like, yeah. Yeah. It helps. It definitely helps with the social aspect. Yeah. So yes, yeah, um, that myself. began. Registration is actually closed for that now. Um, we we've got to get through that uh, this season before we open that back up. Um, so Wednesday was our big monthly new member meetup. Um, Mo came to that. You came after volleyball. Yes. Uh, or no, you came. He came no, after you were, you I, no, were I didn't come after you volleyball. After yeah, I was at yeah. volleyball. He so. was at volleyball. I well, before we get to new member meetup, let's. Yeah, yeah let's no, um, volleyball. so. So, so I, volleyball's going on on Wednesdays. Yeah, volleyball's on Wednesdays. Uh, guys, here's the thing it doesn't matter what your skill level is, you can go out there and have fun. Um, honestly, I have maybe played, before I played in this season, played volleyball five times my whole life. And go out there and just have a good time. And your team's it's, killing it. Yeah, we're doing great. Uh, we, we lost last week. I cannot remember the team's name. And, uh, and Survivors. One, Survivors. Sur Survivors. I mean, it was a great game. Like, it was back and forth. Like, uh, they won the first one, won the second one. And the last game was, I mean, it was, I think they beat us by two points. Like, it was, it was like. Really close. It was, was super first, close. Was I mean, serves back and forth. Yeah, it was our first loss. Um, but, yeah, no, it's a, it's a great time. But, like I said, any skill level out there. Um, it is welcome because it's we're just yeah. out there having fun. It is a lot of fun, man. I mean, I'm I'm horrible at volleyball, uh, but I've gotten out there and watched some of the games. I'm like, man, I, I want to play. You, you <laughs> should like like it's really, yeah. it's, it's a mean, great it's, it's a great great. great uh, time. And I want to give a shout out to Carly Creekmore, the commissioner of our volleyball league. She does an amazing job, and Adama, our um, ref, our other ref out there. He, uh, he does an amazing job as well. I talk a lot of smack to Carly when we're out there, but she does a great job. <laughs> I feel so. like you talk a lot of smack to Carly. Oh, I, well, like in general. So, so in <laughs> fairness, like, like last year at my birthday, Carly came, and that's why I was like, "Hey, you need to come hang out." You introduced Carly. Yeah, I yeah, introduced you Carly her to, to the group. Yeah, I brought Carly to phone with friends. Like, we were, we were. She came out for my birthday. We went out. I was like, "Hey, like, you would love this group. Like, this group of people. It's like these are your kind of people." And that's, yeah, that's how Carly got in. Yeah, so, thank you, man. Yeah. I actually remember. I, I think the first time I met Carly was you brought her to bowling. Yeah, and she came and hung out bowling. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I met so, her at Singo. You met her at Singo? Oh yeah, she, yeah, we went to Singo one night Singo too. Singo yeah. place. Yeah. Yep. Um, so. so next season's registration is open. We are having to change it to, so it's going to be starting on Saturdays for next season. Um, we're, do, we're doing the same location, but you know, lighting is going to be an issue, so our games can't run like so We're doing Saturdays at 10.30 a.m., so we're going to start early. Uh, if you got schedule requests or anything, so you can't start until 11.30, something like that, that's what we're working with you. Saturday's uh, season registration is open for volleyball. New member meetup was this past Wednesday. That's a big one. That's our monthly new member meetup where all of us, you know, kind of OGs like that know each other and everything. We, we come out and we just welcome all the new members in because, you know, we get that there's a lot of anxiety to coming into like a group like this. There's a lot of people that sit in the group for... I've been told there's people that sit in the group for like years before they come to their first I, thing. I literally, I know a girl that that is, she's coming to work with me in real estate, but it's been in the group for a year, I and she and she had well, well, no, she hasn't made it yet. She's going to make it out well, know, to the I next. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we talk, talked yeah. about it, um, but she's going to come out to the next one. I was like, no, like come, like come hang out. Like yeah, it's yeah. a great place to to meet new people, make new friends, find something you're interested in. I mean, that's... Also, yeah. if there's anybody who wants to come and you're nervous about it, reach out to any of us. Yeah, we can yeah, be we, that familiar face. We can show absolutely. you around. We can introduce you to people. Yep. We're happy to do that. Reach out. We want you to come. We yeah. want you to make friends. That's the point of this group. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. We want you to be happy here. <laughs> like, yeah, that's... Yeah. yeah. You know. um, but, yeah, we want to get you active. The big thing, I mean, the reason why we did Film with Friends, you know, we want you to make connections with people uh, through friendship. We feel like there's there's a need for that. There's a need for all of this. Uh, but I want to give... I, I, Try my best to remember everybody's names. I don't always succeed, but I want to say uh, hi to Max, Irene, Justin, Zoe, Abby, who is on our crew, uh, Ashley, Belle, Sarah, Allie, or Ollie, I don't remember how she pronounced it, uh, Travis, Cassandra, John, Amber, Joel, Sarah with no H. I, I remember that because <laughs> I, I actually thought she was saying 
people always uh, ask me my age, and I was like, that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> and she was actually saying that people always ask if it's with an H. Yeah. Um, I completely misunderstood her. Paige, and also thank you to all of our um, members who've, who help us out a lot at these events. Uh, Angie, Ron came, Jamin, Hank, who's also on our crew here. Uh, Mo was out there, Steve. Uh, who his daughter Zoe? He brought his daughter Zoe out for the first time. Uh, it was great to meet her and hear her story. Um, Mel, Lauren, Oliver, Jaime, all of you guys. If I missed anybody's name, I'm sorry, but thank you all. It was a pleasure to meet you all, and I hope that we see you again. Um, so Thursday, Thursday was our bowling, and it was a classic dad. Classic dad. In honor of the fathers, for Father's Day. Out there. This guy showed up in his. Dad, new balance. Yeah, I bought new balance. Dad, new balance is just for this fresh new balance. Yeah. <laughs> You're not. Your new balance is a hard legit, but mine is for the dad for the dad. Straight back. Uh, but a good one would have been like five bucks. But here's the thing: is they're comfortable. I mean, there's they're a reason comfy. they didn't Mine are comfy and they're fresh. There's a reason that people Dusty. are buying them. Go to the new balance store, guys. This is what Dusty needs to go buy, not <laughs> yeah. those. Just go get you a The new balances were very, they were very comfortable. But yeah, uh, so we were full on dad. And I will, man, shout out to the guys, but the ladies killed it that yeah, night. They, they really did. did. I saw the photos. I was there like, were oh. at least three girls show up, and I had no clue who they were until I talked to them. Charity and Amy in particular. Like, mm -hmm. really oh, Charity's was great. Amy's like, Amy. Amy had the full on beat. Yeah, I was like, I was double take. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was great. That was really awesome. We got some good pictures from that. It was a really good time. The, the, we did a contest. The uh, uh, people who won that was Amy and Mikey, uh, Mo's Mikey. Um, so they each got a drink on Funnel Prince Force. Um, so yeah, every every season we do a theme night. That was this season's theme night. Uh, we don't know what next season will be, but uh, it'll be fun. I know that. It's always a good time. To follow, it's it's as random as I am. Like, by the way, has been. By the way, I still don't know what the buzzword's going to be yet. Okay. Oh, by the way, so yeah, speaking of that, there is a uh, word of the week by Zane. Or phrase. Right. Word, or phrase. phrase. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We don't know what Zane is going to bring to the table. <laughs> you... Zane's going to say something. And uh, if you see him at any Fumble Prince social event, approach him, say whatever he says back to him, then he will buy you a drink. But yep. here's the thing. It will be edited out in post. Yep. So when we post this later, this is only going to be shown on the live. Yep. So it pays to watch live. So hang, and hang only on, only the first time. five people, right? So you got to be the first people. five. Yeah, you gotta win it, man. So but yeah, you, yeah. So, so I, <laughs> you yeah, go broke. I know some of y'all. Well, maybe, I, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, you know, yeah. Who knows? So yeah, um, and thank you to Crystal Carnes, our friend of the month, who's our, who's our guest today. Uh, she is our co-commissioner at Bowling, and she does a really good job. Um, next season's registration is open. Uh, we had 14 teams this season. We had 14 teams last season, so it would be awesome if we get quite a bit for next season too. Again, it's it's a fun night. It's really incredible. And any of any of your skill skill level, we use handicaps. So you know, if you're like me and you're not that good, or if you're like somebody and you bowl almost a 200, that's going to benefit you too because our handicap is set at 90% of 180. So if you bowl above that, I mean, you're going to do better than anybody with a handicap. But so there, it's it's a little you know. It's even. Um, so that was Thursday. Uh, I don't think for Friday we just had the Mardi Gras set up. Set up. So Friday and Saturday morning we had the Mardi Gras set up for, it was done at World's Fair, Fair Park, Park. And it was run by uh, Young Williams. They were setting up, uh, they had us come in and do volunteer work. So what we did is we set up tables, we filled up water troughs, we took chairs to where they needed to be, we set up lines for them. Basically, whatever they needed bodies to do is what they set us to do. Uh, there was a group of at least 10 people Friday night and then uh, 10 people that showed up Saturday morning. So thank you to all of our volunteers. There were a couple of new faces that I didn't know, so I got to meet them, which was great. Um, just want to say thank you again. And the actual Mardi Gras was on Saturday. Yes, started at 10. So I started at 10. Sammy uh, couldn't attend. this is our second year. No, Sammy couldn't attend. No, she, she, was on, she was on bed rest. Yeah. Um, this is our second year doing that, yes. too. Lauren Hutchins uh, helps us with that every year. And um, Young Williams actually reached out to us asking if we would volunteer again. So uh, y'all do an incredible job with that. So thank you to Lauren. Thank you, for, thank you to everybody who volunteers for that. Uh, and then after that, we kept the party going because we had Fumble Friends Celebrates Pride at Hexagon Brewery. 
limited uh, t-shirts that were sold there. There's only a few left now. Once they're gone, they're gone. Uh, That's it. Yeah. Um, limited they're a little edition. Limited edition. Be yeah, cool I mean, it's just about one. it's just about support, you know. So um, love we just, wins. We wanted to we wanted to do something like that. Uh, we had over 80 So that was a really people. great event. I, I think over, over 80 people came over, over 80 people. And we raised $500 for Knox Pride Community. Yes. So Warren also set that up. Warren and all the volunteers, thank y'all so much. That means a lot. They threw that together in about three weeks. Yeah. And they did yeah. a great job. The amount of sponsors that they got involved, the amount of booths that were set up, decorations from start to finish, the event was really great. It was an event that was really close to, uh, I think it's close to uh, many of us, but I think it was especially close to Lauren because she, her daughter came out two weeks ago, or right, two weeks ago or two months ago? Two months ago, I believe, yeah. Um, so, you know, this made it even more meaningful for her to, uh, to do this. So. Very cool. It was beautiful, yeah. Um, but I DJed that. Uh, I couldn't get even, it was too hot, it was during the day, really couldn't get the dancing going, I tried, but you know. Uh, it was hot. It was, it was with hot. friends. Plunk with friends, that's what, I'm, <laughs> that's what I'm going with, that's what I'm sticking with. But yeah, thank you to all the volunteers. Um, again, we were talking about Jessica Moore, she did some awesome rocks. She paints, she does this, she like paints rocks, leaves them in places, and um, she did some really cool ones for this event. But uh, yeah, it was beautiful, and thank you guys who, thank you to the companies that donated. Um, and then Sunday. Yeah, so Sunday we had softball playoffs. Um, so before we get into this past, or this past Sunday, let's give a throw out to uh, That's What She Said for winning the beer division. Yeah, good job, y'all. Good job. So uh, we started to, I, I wanted to do two divisions. Um, and I like this too because it makes it, the, the games are way more evenly matched yep, up. Like that, even in the beer division. Yeah, the beer division, I mean, that, that last game was, uh, that's division. what she said, came back from like 12 runs to yeah. win it. It was so. like 18 to 19 in yeah. the final yeah. uh, on that. It was, yeah. Wow. Um, and even in this uh, Golden Glove division too. Uh, yeah, so, it, was, it was good as well. Well, first of all, because that's what she said, won the beer division, they advanced to the Golden Glove yep. division. They got the last past, seat. Yeah, which was um, this past weekend. Um, so... Yeah, that one is, uh, that group's some really good matchups. I came down to Honey Badgers, the number one and the number two team. Yeah. Honey Badgers and Mountain Pounders. Pounders. Yep. Um, and Zane, you want to like how, how that, yeah, Zane uh, that game. Yeah, so. so I was behind the plate. Um, it was a great game. Um, uh, not a lot of scoring early. Um, it was, it was, you know, we went, you know, in the championship games, we play seven innings. There's no time limit because that's how it should be. Higher seats, home team, yep. um, go out there and win. A um, couple errors made in the last inning. The Mound Pounders took a lead yeah. and uh, held it and uh, then won it. So Yeah, and uh, Abby Wilkins was our field or field reporter for the day, and I think we actually have some footage to cut to for that. Hey, everybody. It's Abby here, and I'm here with Ron Boozer. Boozer? Sorry. First time meeting him. <laughs> the Boozer. So how long have you been in the league, Bougie? Uh, three seasons. Three seasons, nice. How do you feel about this game coming up, this championship game? I mean, slow pitch softball. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Right, right. Would you like some? Yeah, I would. <laughs> right that on. was glorious. All right, well, we've got captain of the Mound Pounders, um, Miss Brittany. Yes. How, how long have you been in the league? This is our third season. Right on. Uh, how do you feel about this game? At the end of the day, it's just a game, but I will say we're back-to-back -back champs. About to put another three-peat. That's right. All right, you've heard it here, y'all. See you later. A few moments later. All right, Brittany, you're no stranger to winning. How you feeling? Like a champion, as usual. Right on. <laughs> Mound Pounders. Mound Pounders for last. Another plaque. Good job, y'all. <laughs> So, yeah, thanks, Abby, for coming out and being our field reporter. Uh, you did a great job. Uh, we appreciate it. Um, Dusty did some video for Abby. Um, Thank you to Ron and Brittany, too, for doing the, the yeah. interviews. Yeah, yeah the interviews. That was, yeah, that was, that was awesome. That was a lot of fun. Those two, if you know them, they're, they're wild. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, they're wild. She does the splits at, at first base. Yeah, she, she does. Kills, she kills She man. does. Ron, Ron's playing shortstop, made some good plays, too. Yeah, so, it's, yeah. Great, um, great people as well. And so. I want to thank the umpires for this past season. Damon Zane right here. Um, we had Michael Swain, Eric Schwartz, the dino hunter. Yeah, he's, he's better an umpire than he is hunting dinos. <laughs> <laughs> and he's um, not, you know, he's... Mm. 
Yeah. <laughs> Anthony, um, anybody uh, I'm, I'm missing, again, you know, this is live. I should have written down their names. But thank you guys. You did an incredible job. And uh, I really appreciate the dedication you give us every Sunday out there. Um, and then we also had the Kids Kickball League, which this is our second week of doing that. We took last weekend off, obviously, because it was Father's Day. Um, we had the Kids Kickball League, and they, they had their former friends, uh, sports kids, kickball league shirts on it was cute man i loved it <laughs> watching them out there my kids are involved cute. in it it's only ten dollars to play thanks to the uh, sponsorship from hefferly auto sales um it was only ten dollars to pay which pretty much to play which uh only paid for their shirts pretty much um so that takes care of the umpires and everything else for those games but uh the kids are having a great time uh and it's all about you know coming together it's building their confidence but yeah it was a beautiful time i really love that and then we also had a Fun With Friends tubing event at Tube River Rage. Angie headed that up. I don't know many details about that. Uh, I saw but some it looked pictures. Like a good crew. It looked like they had fun. It did look like that. Uh, they got rained on. Did they get rained on? Yeah, you're living in a they river, though. They got rained on as soon as they, they got, got in the water. And then it cleared up. Yeah, there's the water. Yeah. 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 The horse is not lying. Yeah. Um, I'm plotting it. <laughs> That's yeah. I do know that Ch I think Charity had a group go to and they had to kind of go separate because they didn't show up in the time. But, so we actually had two Fun with Friends groups there that day. Uh, the pictures were really cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was, the, that was the week that was. And then tonight we have um, our Monday Night Cornhole League kicking off. And we opened up the Monday nights because Tuesdays were really popular. Uh, we, had, we couldn't fit everybody in, so we wanted to give it another night. So Mondays right now, or it might be over by now, but at Hexagon Brewery, uh, our Cornhole League uh, it kicked off tonight at 6.30. Uh, Carly Creekmore is the commissioner of that. Um, and then our board game night, once again, at Token Game Tavern, along with another Killer Queen mixer. This is not the league play. This is just a mixer to show you uh, how to play, show you how it's done. Leo and Kyle are heading that up. You guys go out on a Monday if you're free. Go play or just hang out at Token, man. It's, it's an awesome place. Um, so, yeah, that was our weekly wrap-up. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have our guests on. Our guest, friend of the month, Crystal, Crystal Carnes is in the building, everybody. <laughs> Crystal Carnes. I'm sitting here. No, you're sitting right here in the middle. <laughs> To be on the first episode of Fun with Friends Live as a friend of the month. Awkward. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah I'm, I'm excited about it. I really am. Like, Once again, really thank you. I mean, I don't have to like talk like this. <laughs> you <laughs> haven't been doing. What do I do with my? What do I do with my hands? Again, thank you to Barrel House by Gypsy Circus for having us here, and shout out to our sponsor, Fun with Friends Sports. <laughs> All right, Crystal Carnes, friend of the month. Oh, I have some questions for you. Hi. I think Mo has some too. Yeah, right? What? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> All right, so my first question for you is, how did you come to find Fun with Friends? Well, um, I can't tell you how I found it the first time around, because like what you guys mentioned earlier, I was in the group for about a year and a half before I did anything. Um, but I was on a date one night, and I met Mikey, my boyfriend, mm -hmm. and then the second date was a double date with her and Mikey, mm -hmm. and she was wearing a Fun with Friends shirt. And I said, oh God, I think I'm in that group. She's, I'm like, do you do anything? She's like, I do everything. <laughs> so, so I got her number awkwardly later that evening and then just went to uh, You showed up softball. at Cornhole. No, oh, I did. It was no, softball. No, it was Cornhole. You're right. Oh, okay. I was with Justin and we went to Cornhole. And then, and then softball. softball started. So, yeah. That's great. And we, we had our own team. It was Pitches Be Crazy. Yes. So was it one of those things like you, because often I like, I like the whole story, like, you know, I was in the group for a while before I came out. Was it like you were just trying to get the vibe of everything? No. Was it more like the no. anxiety of it? Like, no. I was looking for, like, a friend group or something because I was working, like, so much at my last job. It was so stressful. Yeah. And then, honestly, I just got wrapped up in work that I didn't that pay happens. attention to it anymore. So it wasn't a vibe. It wasn't anxiety. It was just lack of opportunity and time. Yeah. That happens, I get that. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was a lot. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of, so what is one of your favorite memories that you have? I told Mo life? about this before and we were dying laughing. Uh, so, we were playing softball on Pitches Be Crazy, and it was our second season. It was the Sandlot season. So, the first season. I think so. When we did the, the free thing? Whenever Wilson came in. 
It might have was been the second, second season. season? I don't second, remember. Yeah. Okay, so we were playing. I don't remember who we were playing. I don't know. I remember anything of it. But it's pouring rain. It was that day where we were, like, they kept asking the captains, are you sure you want to still play? You know, but it was pouring. You were there. <laughs> you kept asking me, are you sure you want to play? And I was like, yeah. So I'm, we're wet already. <laughs> let's keep going. So I'm pitching. Mo's at first. So we got this little line. And then Wilson's right behind Mo. And all of a sudden, I hear Wilson start singing, Burr, it's cold out here. And then we started singing from, um, what's it called again? Bring It On, yeah. uh, the Clovers or whatever. And then, and then when um, the ball went foul or something, Wilson had this rookie moment with me where he just walks up in the rain and just like hands me the ball. And I'm like, are you taking me out, coach? He's like, no, you're just going to have to step it up. We need to go home. And I'm like, OK. So that was like probably the best. So, like, granted. I know the rain games aren't for everybody, but I but love it. Was, I we love had so it. much fun. We played so much better in the rain. I love it. The Once the rain stopped, we lost. It was yeah, a great yeah, equalizer. No. The rain was a great equalizer. <laughs> when the yes. rain stopped, yeah. we're just like, okay, bye, we're done. Yeah. <laughs> Once the rain stopped is when we lost the game. I played softball when it was, the, the field was so wet that you were actually running and your feet were sinking. I played that yeah. game with you. Were you with me in that? I was. Uh, that was not, I, I got that. I think yes. we that too. We did. Yeah. That was the a rough game. The rain just makes you play better for some reason. I think it's because you want to get out of it. Probably. Yeah, you want to speed it up. I think it also helps some of us. Not better teams play along. Pitches <laughs> <Well, laughs> be crazy was that line. team. <laughs> yes. yes. So do you have any questions? Um, okay, so when was the last time you were nervous? Today. Okay. Because oh. <laughs> this is, I am I have, I don't know. Okay. I, this is all a lot of anxiety kicks in. Okay. Last time. No, I get that, yeah. <laughs> um, also, if you could be any fictional character, <laughs> who would you be? She gave you I, she, I asked these earlier because I was like, I need to give her at least some fair yeah, warning. You gave me at least like six hours. She gave me like an hour or two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I honestly would be someone in uh, Criminal Minds, honestly, on the BAU. I've been Minds? watching that so much. Like, I love that stuff. Like, seeing why someone's doing that or like whatnot. It's like interesting. The, what's, it's, what's the one? It's not Criminal Minds. Like, what's the one with the guy that you like? Oh, that's CSI my, Miami, I think. Horatio. Yeah, I like that guy. Horatio yeah. or something in real life. Yeah, no. I would, though. I'm, I'm really intrigued. And I mean, I'm, a, I guess, a basic girl where we like serial killers and documentaries. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. All that stuff. So, whatever. I'll admit it. That's okay. No shame. Zayn's giving me a look like, Jesus, Crystal, that's what you do? <laughs> All right. So, you clearly had an impact on me uh, in the group. I mean, you were... You were voted in by others for in front of the month. Um, so sure what? Me, just like in different you, <laughs> you were walking into but different things, like, hey, Crystal Carn should be. Um, so, anyways, what or who has made a big impact uh, on your life in the group? I mean, I, I okay. So Mo, for sure. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because like she's my best friend. We do pretty much all the things and fun with friends together. But just meeting a bunch of awesome people. Yeah. Like I have other friends. Lauren, Jessica, I, I'm, we're live, so I'm going to forget a bunch of people, but <laughs> Zane, he's, you know, trying to flag <laughs> me down. I do love Zane. You're wearing your pride shirt. I'm so excited. <laughs> but, but no, just like the people, I think that's like yeah. what's made the, the biggest, like is I felt very welcome and especially by Mo, you know, when we first started talking. So when I, I love to, like I said, you know, you, one thing I know I've already said this in the post when I made it, but you know, you. We're always asking you, like, let me help. How can I help? Let <laughs> I me help. Let me take some. She back. asked you, like, 20 times before you gave I, her the I, first I, one. And, and I, I have, go to Mo, and I'm like, I'm telling him to let me <laughs> But the reason why is because I, there's been times I'm like, okay, do. And then all of a sudden, the Nobody person doesn't does. show up, or they don't, you know, yeah. come through. You always come through. So oh, yeah. I, really I try to. That. You're, you are a very dependable and a good friend. Yay. So it's very well deserved. <laughs> uh, do you, one last now. serious question. One last serious question. Uh, <laughs> um, what would you like to see more of in Fun with Friends? Oh gosh, uh, the sports. I told her about this, like the dodgeball, That's soccer, um, tennis, basketball, that be? basketball, like Basketball's everything, happening. like legitimizing more sports. I think yeah. that's like one of the best aspects. Like yes, I love meeting people at bars. My cards night once a month. That'll be coming back in July, and um, <laughs> like all that's fun. But I really think the sports is like the best. What about, you mentioned tennis, what about pickleball? Uh, I, I did see say. that. Um, well, we saw pickleball, it's at, while well, we play kickball. Mm -hmm. so they have that over there. No. I would I assume it's a lot of like, similar to tennis, right? Zane's saying that he's played it. 
Do you feel like that's easier than tennis? Yes. Yeah. It's, isn't it like ping pong, like a ping pong paddle though, almost? It's harder, it's firmer. It's like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say it. She's keeping it PG. Because we're live. And she's so <laughs> All right, so whenever we have a guest on, we like to play a little game, but I think in this time we're going to whenever. do like some rapid fire questions. So we got 21 questions. We're just going to toss them out there, and she's got to answer them quickly. <laughs> Mo's going to ask one, I'm going to ask one, we're going to go back and forth. Like until as we're I done. answer, you'll ask the next one? No? Okay. It's going to be fast. Maybe, maybe not. All you right. want to start, you want me to? Do you, are you, do you want her to hold the microphone? Or yeah, hold wanna... the microphone for this part. Rapid okay. fire. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> no. <laughs> Number one question. What size is your bed? Queen. Weirdest thing about you? My awkward laugh when I'm nervous. <laughs> How many siblings do you have? Three. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. What color is your toothbrush? <laughs> I don't know. It's white. <laughs> Favorite Disney animal? I don't watch Disney that often. A lot of Favorite people are going to hate oh, that okay. about me. No, no, there was a, oh, crap, 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 crap. Never mind. It's not Disney. It's Pixar. The little hamster in um, Bolt. Okay, fine. Where he's in the little ball. Okay. He's like. <laughs> when I dance, I look like. I look like I just am in the crowd of people and I can't move and I'm just like this. Okay. What goes in your Waffle House hash browns? I don't eat their hash browns. I get Mother. their. <laughs> I get their all-star breakfast with uh, pancakes, eggs, That's bacon, and grits. I, I props to that. <laughs> Texting or talking? <laughs> Texting. Name a woman. Mo. <laughs> what city does Batman live in? Gotham. True or false? Zane Matthews can play the cello. False. <laughs> Is a hot dog a sandwich? No. Can you? <laughs> can you fake laugh right now? No, because I'm real <laughs> laughing. <laughs> Dream travel destination. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I can't, no, I'm, I'm blanking. It's wherever they have got the little huts on the water. I can't think of what it's called, thank you. Bora Bora? Yes, yeah, it's like really clear water and then they've got these little like cool no, like hotel anywhere. huts and like, just whatever. All right, where do all I the answered. cowboys go? Your mom's house. Maybe. Favorite superhero? Oh, I don't have one. What? No. Guardians of the Galaxy, go. Okay. okay. How are you handling Conan O'Brien's retirement? I didn't know that was happening. Are you sad? I don't have cable. Um, <laughs> no, not really. Okay. I mean, he's funny, but I didn't watch him. How many keys are on your keychain? Four, I think. <laughs> are you taking the last piece of pizza or are you leaving it? Oh, no, I'm taking that. <laughs> last one, morning or night? <laughs> morning. <laughs> You know what I'm really And that was rapid fire <laughs> you know with really Crystal really Carms. Really thankful for it. I told Mo this. None of your questions had to do with my mom being in the group. <laughs> oh, her mom. Yeah, her mom is yes. in the group. And she's, she's yes. very loved, too. So, Julie, hold on. Yeah. Shout out to Julie. Yeah. Here, here we go. How do you feel about your mom being in the group? <laughs> I love it. I'm the one that talked her into coming. Okay. She yeah. Did, yeah. Have I met your mother? Was that the first She's question? on my cornhole team. I hadn't met your mother, man. No. Okay, I want to go on cornhole. She's, she's awesome. She's, 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 she's in the third season. Yeah. Okay. okay. She's great. She's hardcore. Okay. <laughs> is she is she cooler than you? Yes. Oh, that's hundred yeah. percent. Okay. Joe Poncho's in love with her. She he mm -hmm. says that that's her mom, his mom. Not okay. Mine. Oh, like, okay. Joe's in love with everybody. <laughs> he is. So. <laughs> and we love Joe. Yes, we, we love, do Joe love Joe Poncho. <laughs> we need we need shots for Joe. Yes, yeah, they have shots. No, they don't. No, they don't. Exactly. They've got so THC right. shots. What? Or no, I'm sorry, the, not THC, the other one. CBD? CBD shots. <laughs> yeah, that's it. One thing about Joe is if Joe shows up, people are getting shot. Yes. You are it's not me. Joe has never bought me shots. Has neither. Bought, no. Well, I've bought Joe shots. Neither of us have, have you bought Joe shots. Oh, yeah. Me, me and Joe, it's oh, a trouble. Yeah, no, this guy. Drinking with you is a bad idea. All together. I'm sorry, y'all can't keep up. So exactly. Shot. One night at Token, you just kept ordering Fireball, and I'm like, oh, no, no, what? Jesus. You said, so at Open Court, our buddy Scott Oh, Schultz God. Man, yeah. Uh, what is it? What's it? Waystone. 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 Yeah. They were playing at Open Court, and we all went out to support them. Zane ran up a tab of about, what, 300 No, it was $450. 400, before oh, my tip. gosh. It was on everybody's shots. The I band, bought the band, read the people. people. Yeah. Gary I, actually told me about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was we had a good time though. We, we did have a good time. Oh Me and Dusty, so so we went to Double Dogs before, oh, and we had a 
<laughs> we had a we had a hot dog that, that we brought with us, and for some reason Eric McCormick had it in his pocket. <laughs> and, and me and Dusty were we we had a good night, and we were hungry. And Eric's like, "I got a hot dog," so we broke it in half and ate the hot dog out of Eric's pocket. That's probably the best uh, pocket hot dog I've ever. Yeah, had. it's the only pocket hot dog I've ever ate. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna step away before I say yeah, something thank bad. You <laughs> thank you, Crystal. Thank you for having me. Zane Matthews with the word and or phrase of the week. So, the way this works <laughs> is I'm going to say a word or phrase. <laughs> the next event I'm at that you see me at, social, you know, somewhere there's a bar where I can buy you a drink, I will buy you a drink of your choice. Nothing stupid. Right, like I'm not buying you a $200 scotch. I'll buy myself one of those. Um, but like a beer or like, like you know, Jack and Coke, whatever, something, right? Um, but the phrase of the week is <laughs> Yeah, that's your phrase right there. The phrase of the week was Zane Matthews. It. Write it down, put it in your head. Next time you see First Zane. First five people at the next social event, drinks on me. Other stipulation, people that work for me and the production cast don't get any. Free drinks. I'll probably buy those anyways. Sorry, I had to ask. I tried. He said no. I'll probably buy you one anyways. <laughs> Alright, so we're about through with the episode. Let's talk about what's coming up this week. So we already talked about what's happening tonight. We got Cornhole. We have Killer Queen Mixer. We have um, Board Game Night. That's going to be every Monday. What's uh, going on tomorrow? Cornhole again. You got your Tuesday Cornhole, cornhole League. Again, yeah. Yeah. Tuesday nights, lots of fun. A lot of people at Hexagon, if you want to come socialize, if you're not playing cornhole, or if you want to play cornhole after we're done, people stay around and throw bags. And it's guys, a great time. Hexagon has great food also, yes. um, as well as tons of beer, and they've got, um, was it Flying Panda? Yes, is Flying there... Panda is a, it's a vodka cocktail. Yeah, and it's it's awesome as well. They are also one of our friends of Fun with Friends. We get a discount there. I think it's a dollar off every uh, pint. Yeah. Um, if you are curious what all discounts we get by wearing the shirts, you can go to fwfknoxville.com backslash sponsors, and there's a full list right there. Uh, so on Wednesday, we have trivia at Token Game Tavern, another one of our people. Uh, with Ron Cornell. Yeah, Ron's running. Um, I, I went and played before with Ron. Yeah. Yeah, we, we lost, but... <laughs> Was it Ron's fault? No, it wasn't. <laughs> Honestly, it was the That's hardest. It was well, it was the hardest round of trivia I've ever played. It that wasn't. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it was. It was like some really random stuff. Like, and I'm good at random, but like, this was like left field random. Like yeah. name. Like they had one round that was like name that song, and uh, like I've yeah, never heard a single know. one of like. Really? Yeah, like nothing I'd ever heard. Like I think one song I was like, I think I've heard this. I have no clue who it is though. So it's good to have people that know have a little bit of knowledge of, of every, yeah. Of so so yeah, yeah have, have a good group that you know. Yeah, I like I like tokens trivia. I like we've done it at Union Place before. Another one of our people, um, they, their trivia is really good. And here at yeah. the House, we've done theirs, and that's yeah. that's really good. Oh, and volleyball on Wednesday. Volleyball on Wednesday. Volleyball on Wednesday. So if uh, you don't want to, yeah, if you don't want to go do. Uh, do the uh, trivia. You can come hang out the volleyball courts with us. And just like they said, she was talking about with Cornhole, after the games are over, they kind of just... Like, yeah, there's a bunch of people, yeah, we will just play some random games for fun. Um, in fact, uh, two weeks ago, we played when it was um, guys versus girls, and the girls beat us. Um, oh! Some, yeah. Which also, <laughs> in fairness, in fairness, one of the guys, his his wife and two of his daughters were on the, you know, on the girls' team, yeah. and so... You know, we, we may have thrown that game intentionally, um, mm -hmm. so he would have yeah, to listen uh -huh. to it. Okay. <laughs> I, I pulled a Daria, for those of you who remember Daria. I do. I don't you know. do. Yeah, <laughs> you know where the volleyball goes by her and she goes. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, straight up pulled a Daria, so. So, on Thursday, we have a bowling league still. There's two more weeks left in this season. Well, three, technically three more weeks because we have the playoff week. Uh, and then again, like I said, we take about a month off and then we're right back at it. So register for next season's bowling. It's a ton of fun. We also have, there's karaoke going on at Skybox. It's the um, a red, white, and blue uh, themed karaoke. Uh, I don't know what that means and what that entails. You'll have to go and see, I guess. It's uh, I mean, hosted I, by one of our in, members. I would say dress from red, white, and blue yeah. for 4th yeah. of July. So it sounds like I need to go sing uh, Brought to You Courtesy of the Red, White, and Blue. Sounds like you need to make little, an appearance. Little Toby Keith. Yeah. I can't sing, by the way. <laughs> but 
I'm well, not afraid to get up there. That's the that point of karaoke. I'm proud to be in America. Oh, okay. I that one. <laughs> nah, it's, uh, you that's know. That's the one country you'd like. We'll, we'll put a booty in your ass. I'm that's the American way. American. I don't well, know if I can actually sing so, that song on here, but anyway. I mean, it's whatever. You're singing it. So, But that's Lee Greenwood, who is actually Lee from Lee East Tennessee. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. So we're just giving a little East Tennessee. Yeah, shout out. And then you know what? If you can't make it on the first to Red, White, and Blue Karaoke, we're going to have it again on Friday at Skybox. And, uh, you know, if karaoke's not your thing and we're watching people sing karaoke like me, I will be there singing a lot of 90s R&B. Um, then, you know, they have a really cool hookah bar downstairs. Are you going to wear Red your magical, magical outfit? I would. Uh, we're, we're not talking about that. <laughs> Does it still fit? Man, I don't have that outfit. I, I got rid of that as soon as I could. <laughs> it's okay, Pitch Perfect. <laughs> So, <laughs> uh, changing subject. So, anyways, 4th of July also uh, is coming up. And, guys, um, have fun. Be safe. Don't Jason Pierre Paul yourself. Um, <laughs> what? what is this? You don't know who he is? No. He's a defensive end in the NFL. He blew his hand off. Oh, with a firework? Yeah. Oh. So, like, like he's got, like, like, he's missing. Yeah, he's just got a couple fingers left. Yeah. He's still playing. He's really good. I've known guys that have done that. Yeah, like, just doing like woodworking. Yeah, dude. It's, I mean, but seriously, like, like that's you know, like, like, like all jokes aside, like, like the Fort July is an awesome time, but fireworks are like they can't be dangerous. Like, be safe. You like, know what your careful. phrase of the week should have been? Put what? it in reverse, Terry. Huh? <laughs> Put, Put it in reverse, reverse Terry. Terry. Put it in reverse, Terry. Terry. What are you Terry. Doing, Terry. No, oh, Terry. No, <laughs> no, 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 Terry. Yeah. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> nope. Yeah, I know. All right, so and then Monday, uh, we once again, on July 5th, we once again have uh, Cornell at Hexagon, Killer Queen Mixer, and Board Game Night at Token Game Tavern by Ron Cornell. So, uh, next week, uh, I believe we are going to have a couple of people on from Alzheimer's, and we're going to talk about our Longest Day Scavenger Hunt initiative with them, and we're going to play some brain games. Um, yeah, my buddy Doug has some uh, brain games to play. Uh, I don't know what that means or what, the, what we're going to see. That sounds exciting. I feel like I've been in some relationships that I played some, had some brain games played before, but you know, we won't get into all that. I think we're, this is testing knowledge, not how smart you are. I don't not think that, I don't think that's what it is. I think it's going deep. I don't know. Yeah, I'm yeah. Nervous. Yeah, it's, I'm game to play. Mo, are you going to play? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, brain games uh, next week. I'm gonna make sure you know everything lines up with everybody's schedule, but uh, that should be our guest speaker next week. So tune into that. Um, so yeah, we want to thank Crystal Carnes, friend of the month, for coming on tonight, for being our first guest. Uh, we want to thank the Fun with Friends Dino, who took over the the first of the show. Um, and shout out to Eric, the uh, dino hunter. I love what's happening here, guys. He's not a good dino hunter, man. <laughs> At least he's trying. I, you're, you say that. I love it. I, I love it. I, I mean, I love dog. it, but like, like, I think he should start with the scavenger hunt before he goes to try to hunt a dino. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, a scavenger hunt for Alzheimer's sounds like a better way to start than just going straight for big game, right? So, really quick, speaking again on the scavenger hunt, uh, Barrel House just got on board with the scavenger hunt, and if you come in between a certain time frame that we're doing the scavenger hunt, into here, get a picture with something, you know, that so we know that you were here for the scavenger hunt, and you buy anything to drink, a portion of that's going to go to Alzheimer's. For, oh, yeah. wow, that's awesome. So, that's really cool. Um, I want to give a shout out to our crew. You guys are doing an incredible job, and this show literally could not happen without y'all. Yes. Uh, Preston Fulton, Adam Klein, and Christian. And Christian, I'm sorry if I messed up your last name. Ferrar Garcia. Uh, love you guys. Good job. Also, Abby Wilkins um, and Zane Matthews and Mo. Mo, Warren please. Uh, thank you all so much. And um, until next week, good night, friends, and have a fun week. We love y'all. See ya. Bye.